welcome back. Following the passage of Hurricane Elsa, many appeals have been made to Wasco as people complain bitterly about the unavailability of water. Many St. Lucians face major inconveniences due to the lack of water and some say they are still reeling to this day. Communication and Marketing Officer for Wasco, Sherry Ann Williams, seeks to clear the air and provide an update on the ongoing water situation. It is no secret that water is important to human health and as of now its availability is of great concern to St. Lucians. The water and sewage company Wasco has received much criticism following the passing of Hurricane Elsa. Many have complained about the unavailability of water and how it affects their daily lives. Communications and Marketing Officer Sherry Ann Williams seeks to quell some of the misconceptions surrounding the ongoing water issue and provides an explanation as to why there are disruptions. In the aftermath of Hurricane Elsa, um, we did um, suffer some damage to our infrastructure island-wide. And um, it was mostly due to power issues um, that has caused us to be unable to distribute water um, as, as normal to, to customers. Um, this is not unusual because of the fact that um, after a, a rain event, um, our infrastructure is usually affected due to either turbidity issues or damage to our infrastructure. Williams states further that the company is working assiduously to restore water supply to the entire island, as Wasco is aware of the importance of a portable water supply, particularly following a natural disaster and in current COVID-19 times. I can tell you that up to today, um, our technicians and our crews are out in the field. We have discovered several um, broken lines, broken mains, and so on that have hampered um, the service to a number of communities, both in the north and in the south. And we continue to work to restore the water supply to customers. Um, we are doing our best and we want to um, encourage customers to be a bit patient with us. Uh, the system is a very wide system. I mean, everybody depends on that system for, for water and we are doing our best. We're doing everything that is humanly possible to ensure that the supply reaches um, customers, as many customers, in the shortest space of time. Prior to the passage of Hurricane Elsa on Thursday, 1st July, necessary maintenance was done at the main treatment plant, which also caused disruptions to the north of the island. Wasco encourages customers to be patient as restoration works continue. For the Hot 7 Nightly News, I am Karim Nelson. In the aftermath of Hurricane Elsa, utility company Lucelec has received much praise from members of the public for its level of efficiency during and after the storm. Corporate communications manager for Lucelec, Roger Joseph, explains that much planning and effort goes into ensuring that all systems are go when it comes to disaster response. Many St. Lucians had to resort to lighting a candle on Friday night following the fierce winds of Hurricane Elsa, which caused damage to Lucilec power lines. Almost the entire island was left without electricity, whether due to localized faults or a disruption in the system. Within hours of the passage of the hurricane and the issuing of an all-clear by the National Emergency Management Office, the St. Lucia Electricity Services Lucilec commenced the re-energizing of feeder systems and restoration of electricity to the various communities. While some communities and individual households remain without electricity for more than 24 hours, majority of the public expressed satisfaction with the speed with which they received power. Social media has been abuzz with customers expressing satisfaction and even labeling the company the standard bearer for utility companies on island. The corporate communications manager for Lucilec, Roger Joseph, explained that the company is elated by the encouraging comments. We aim to serve and we aim to do the best that we can and to do it as efficiently as we can. We recognize that the electricity is an important commodity and service to everyone and so we try to ensure that when we have situations like severe weather and um, people's power has been affected, that we can get on the ground and get them reconnected uh, as quickly as possible. Recently, an accident involving a loaded crane to place near Manuel Street Bridge and in a similar fashion, Lucilek was on the ground and able to rectify the situation within a matter of hours. Joseph explained what goes into ensuring that customers receive the level of service that they currently do. Our staff take tremendous pride in keeping the lights on 
for each and every single customer. And when we have a situation where the power to a customer has been compromised, uh, the staff respond with alacrity to get on the job, get the job done as quickly and as safely as they can, and work at it for as long as is necessary. Um, the, for example, when we had the situation where the crane fell on the lines in the city center uh, a couple of weeks ago, the crew that was on the job, they literally rebuilt the, the line uh, that was compromised overnight. They worked through the Sunday afternoon up till 5 a.m. on the Monday. He says not only do workers understand their roles and what is expected of them, there is constant evaluation, appraisals, and consultations at all levels within the company. Therefore, results are manifested. We do a lot of work on planning, um, our, not just the you know, hurricane response, but we have an all-hazards uh, response plan. Uh, we try to ensure that staff are familiar with their respective roles in the plan. Obviously, we've had uh, perhaps more practice with responding to severe weather events because they happen fairly regularly. Uh, the, and every time we have a system and we respond, we review our response to identify places where we've done well, places where we could have done better and make adjustments to our either our protocols or our procedures to try to improve on the next time around. As of the 4th of July, Lucilek has restored power to 99% of customers following the passage of Hurricane Elsa on Friday 2nd July 2021. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Geneve Gonzag. The election bell has been rung and by all accounts, the gloves are coming off. Prime Minister Alan Chasti sought to make the case for rejecting the St. Lucia Labour Party at the polls and giving the United Workers Party another five years. He played on emotions and warned that Labour's track record on job creation has been atrocious and according to him, even in opposition, they were an obstacle to creating job opportunities for you. Remember, the SLP criticizing the jobs created Ojo Labs and ITEL BPO and the many other training opportunities provided by this government? Remember all the threats to close Ojo? How sad that the Labour Party continues to play politics with people's lives and livelihoods and was willing to jeopardize these amazing opportunities for our young people to continue to excel, grow, and prosper in these positions. The many thousands of young people who love working at the new call centers in the newly developed South will certainly never support any efforts to shut these places down by the people who continue to always put politics first. The Prime Minister also addressed the heavy level of criticism surrounding the priority given to infrastructure projects. His government has come under fire for allocating funding to such large-scale projects while people were grappling with the economic fallout from COVID-19. The SLP has predictably criticized the infrastructure projects that we had in train before the pandemic hit. This reflects a fundamental lack of understanding about the economy and about the correlation between infrastructure and economic growth. Those projects provided a weekly paycheck to thousands of solutions and relief for thousands more from the bone-shaking roads that the SLP left behind in its wake of neglect. Even though they may not all drive a Range Rover, all solutions deserve proper roads. Just as they deserve safer bridges at Canaries, Tomazo, and Cul de Sac. Just as our women especially deserve relief from having to take two pairs of shoes to get through muddy tracks on their way to work. Who could be so mean spirited and short sighted to talk about eating roads? when people's lives are made significantly easier and convenient 
by an improved road network. Chassé urged for careful consideration of the tenure of the two past administrations. We're getting back on track. We cannot make the mistake of turning back now and trusting our future to the same old labor, the same tired ideas and failed ideologies, and an inability to implement which got our country into economic and social mess that we've spent the last five years fixing. Both the United Workers' Party and the opposition St. Lucia Labour Party are expected to significantly rump up campaigning in the days ahead as they try to woo the electorate and secure a mandate from the people to govern for the next five years. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. More news after the break.